Summer has never been my favorite season, and fall always just feels like a waiting game until winter finally begins. And then it seems like winter, my favorite season, is gone in a flash. And I have no memory of all of the amazing things that I did other than the warm and fuzzy feeling that comes from these holidays. Well, this summer and fall, we've been extremely busy as we have decided to foster kittens. And although this has come with challenges that we didn't necessarily expect, we have loved having all of these little tiny fuzzy friends to snuggle and play with. Right now, we only have three kittens left at our house, along with our big and snuggly boy, Binks. I can't imagine what this holiday season will be like with four cats in the house, but it's sure to be filled with lots of fun. Now, as an attempt to capture some of all of the holiday magic that I love so much, we have decided to try and capture little snippets of our days from this month, November, all the way through to Christmas, and maybe even a little beyond that. These videos will come out once a week, or every so often as we can get them finished. And hopefully you'll be able to join in on some of the warm and fuzzy holiday feelings with us. Something I seem to forget every year is that when the winter coats come out, Binks loves to lay on them and get them all warmed up for the boys before they head off to school. It is so sweet. We're at that weird stage in the year where there's not really snow, but there's not really rain. So we're playing outside as best we can and taking lots of chilly walks. I did get to catch some of the first snowflakes of the year while I was at work one day, but sadly it did not last. And by the next day, it was all melted away. This time change is my favorite time of year. I wish we could stay like this forever. The mornings are so dark and moody. There's always enough time for another cup of coffee or a warm drink. And I'm getting tons of knitting done in preparation for the holidays. Every year I knit my boys a pair of socks, and this is the second pair that I'm working on. I'm also transitioning to a lot of winter sensory activities for my job, and this is a new take on a big sensory bin that I'm doing at home. I tried to pick some snowy, wintry colors and throw some purple in as well. I am a children's librarian, so a lot of my at-home time is preparing crafts. And for this activity, I was making uh, a play off of the rhyme, there were ten in the bed. So here's five in the bed. Five in the bed, and the over, and yes, more time inside means more time for indoor activities like drumming and making bread. It's finally bread season again, so I am reviving my sourdough starter and spending a lot of time baking. Oh, and here I started testing out some baby socks because I have two baby showers to go to this month. Finally chilly enough for us to make some big roast dinners again. So here we are gifted half of a chicken and we got to roast it up with some squash while I sat and drank some hot chocolate. I just love the mornings. The sunrises are so pretty and even though everything is brown and starting to die for the winter, it's still just really amazing in the mornings especially during my commute when I can still take a back road since there isn't any snow yet. It's been really fun to cozy up near a little lamp at night and finish up my reading. My Goodreads challenge this year is 75 books and I love to snuggle my big cat Binks while I get some reading done. 
Now I mentioned we had foster kittens, but what I didn't mention is we are going to keep at least one of the kittens. And her name is Wednesday. She is so rambunctious and funny, but her and Binks have been getting along pretty well. Binks is tolerating her. <laughs> Another reason why winter is my favorite season is because my skating finally starts up again. I get up at 6 or 6.30 every Sunday morning and drive about 45 minutes to get to the arena where I get to skate with a bunch of adults on my synchro team. that this is the end of fall and most of the leaves have fallen off of the trees but it's still pretty amazing on my Sunday morning drives when the light hits the last of those fall trees. Once I get home from skating, I am starving. And what better way to start your Sunday than with a giant meatball sub. I was so happy to have these leftovers after having company the night before. This was an amazing way to start my Sunday. <laughs> this year is I'm going to attempt to watch all of the Hallmark movies that are released this year and I am going in order. <laughs> I usually watch a few each year but I'm really going to try this year. Now you may think we're crazy but we have put up a Christmas tree but not for the reason you think. We are going to train our foster kittens with this tree to make sure that they don't knock over our real tree once it gets here. They're doing well so far, but like I said earlier, I don't know what we are going to do with three kittens and one big cat for Christmas. I hope you like this little update, and I hope to share some more cozy fun with you again next week. Bye!